Welcome to Analog Communication Playlist. I, Professor Hitesh Dolakya, is going to explain you parameters of super heterodyne receiver in this session. So in this session, we are a little bit to discuss different parameters which is there with super heterodyne receiver. And to understand those parameters, here, these are my session outlines where I am going to discuss sensitivity of super heterodyne receiver. Then we will see selectivity of super heterodyne receiver. And then we are a little bit to see how we need to have a selection of RF amplifier in super heterodyne receiver. Right. So these are my session outlines. So let us try to understand what is sensitivity of super heterodyne receiver. So in my previous session, I have already explained working and frequency components which is there with super heterodyne receiver so this is the basic block diagram which we have already discussed in my previous session you can go through it where i have explained image frequency where i have explained how different frequency components are present in this complete block diagram so here first we are little bit to understand what is sensitivity so first of all we need to understand this sensitivity of receiver that explains how much weak signal can be detected by receiver. So sensitivity explains what? It explains how much weak signal can be detected by receiver. Right. So obviously, if we have very high gain of receiver, then we can receive very weak signal. So sensitivity is directly depending on gain of the receiver. So gain will decide sensitivity. So here there are two amplifiers, right? RF amplifier as well as IF amplifier. So this two amplifier will increase gain of super heterodyne receiver. And based on that, we can increase sensitivity. But there are some issues which will happen as if you increase gain. See, if you increase gain, in that case, there is a possibility of instability and as if you provide such gain which results into unstable system in that case our receiver cannot extract message signal over here right so you can observe there are three different amplifier rf amplifier if amplifier and power amplifier but you cannot have such gain which makes this system unstable so we need to keep gain up to some moderate level right and based on that only we will be having some finite stability so higher the gain results into unstable system so there is a possibility of instability if we increase gain so we use some moderate gain at stable frequency over here right you will be observing in trf means tune radio receiver we don't fix gain and because of that there is a possibility of unstable system so in trf receiver gain was not fixed so it has issues regarding stability right so you can see my session based on trf receiver where i have explained how we adjust frequency and how much gain is there with that system so where you will be identifying gain is not fixed and that is having some issues regarding stability. But here we have some fixed gain, right? And if you have different level over here with amplitude, in that case, we can have automatic gain control over here. And by having AGC, we can provide constant amplitude signal at output side, right? So this is how we can control gain of the system. Even we can use AGC, automatic gain control. Now, when we talk about selectivity of super heterodyne receiver, then selectivity of super heterodyne receiver that is purely based on quality factor. So, quality factor of receiver defines selectivity of receiver, right? So, first of all, we need to understand what is quality factor. So, quality factor that is center frequency divided by bandwidth. Now, let us try to understand this by 
graph over here. So when you receive any signal with somewhat gain, you can see here there is a frequency and here there is amplitude, right? Or one can say gain. And if I receive this signal like this, and if I consider half power bandwidth, so that is somewhat this, and center frequency is FC, then quality factor that is FC divided by bandwidth. So quality factor defines selectivity. Now, if you increase quality factor of receiver, in that case, cost of the circuit will increase. So that is what we need to keep in our mind. If your quality factor is high at receiver side, in that case, cost of the circuit will be even high. So I will discuss how we can increase quality factor and on what parameters quality factor is depending, how cost will increase, all those things that we are delivered to understand over here. Now one more thing that we need to know, see we can improve quality factor by making FIF fixed over here. So we have already seen working of super heterodyne receiver where I have told see here we have fixed FIF and we have fixed FIF over here at output side of mixture based on gang tuning capacitor in between RF amplifier and local oscillator. So we use gang tuning capacitor in between RF amplifier and local oscillator which keeps FIF fixed over here. Right. And as we have fixed FIF over here, we have better quality factor with this circuit. And even I'll give you one example based on quality factor. So it will be clear to all like how selectivity is there with super heterodyne receiver. See better the quality factor, better the selectivity that can be achieved by fixed intermediate frequency at output side of detector. If we keep this fixed, in that case we can have better selectivity. And we can fix intermediate frequency by having ganged tuning capacitor in between RF amplifier and local oscillator. So that is what we have already discussed. Here we have ganged tuning capacitor and that ganged tuning capacitor will tune RF signal and based on that local oscillator signal even will change. Right. And that is what we have already discussed it in my previous session. Now let us try to understand how selectivity is better in super heterodyne receiver. So it will be more clear. See for TRF receiver signal range is from 550 kilohertz to 1650 kilohertz with bandwidth of 10 kilohertz. So as if we have 550 kilohertz signal in that case at lower end of this frequency quality factor will be FC1 by bandwidth. FC1 is 550 kilohertz and bandwidth is 10 kilohertz. So quality factor will be 55. And if you consider 1650 kilohertz means higher end of frequency in that case quality factor that is FC2 by bandwidth where FC2 higher end of frequency is 1650 kilohertz and bandwidth is 10 kilohertz. So in this case quality factor is 165. So you can see quality factor ranges from 55 to 165. So here we can say this quality factor range is very high and as range of this quality factor is high cost of the circuit is even high for the case of TRF receiver. Now in super heterodyne receiver intermediate frequency is fixed and that intermediate frequency is 455 kilohertz with the bandwidth of 10 kilohertz. Right. So intermediate frequency is fixed that is 455 kilohertz with the bandwidth of 10 kilohertz. So if you calculate quality factor 455 kilohertz divided by 10 kilohertz you will be finding this quality factor that is 45.5. Right. And with respect to this range of frequency, if you tune this, then you'll be finding this quality factor is ranging in between 40 to 50. So here for super heterodyne receiver, quality factor ranges in between 40 to 50. So cost of the circuit at receiver side will be less. And we can say we can have better selectivity with lower cost with super heterodyne receiver. Right. 
while in case of TRF receiver quality factor range is from 55 to 165 so here quality factor range is big means we can say cost of the circuit is high so we can say here selectivity is not good with TRF receiver so here with super heterodyne receiver quality factor is ranging in between 40 to 50 while in case of TRF receiver it ranges in between 55 to 165 so we can say here cost of the super heterodyne receiver is lower with the circuit compared to TRF right and that is how this selectivity is depending now I'll explain you selection of RF amplifier in super heterodyne receiver so see this is RF amplifier which we use it in super heterodyne receiver so here there are a few important key points that we should know before we select it in this super heterodyne receiver see here we have antenna which will receive signal plus noise so noise magnitude is maximum over here so first of all we should be having low noise amplifier with this RF amplifier here we use class C amplifier with this RF amplifier and this RF amplifier should be having lower noise so LNA that is what we are using in most of the cases in most of the super heterodyne receiver so we use class C amplifier over here and here we should reject noise signal as well as as we have discussed earlier with my initial session based on super heterodyne receiver I have told there is a problem regarding image signal and image frequency even we should reject by this RF amplifier so it should reject image frequency even if we see SNR of this amplifier then as per low noise amplifier it should be having good SNR then it will improve sensitivity right so SNR should be good but it should be low noise amplifier right LN so good SNR with low noise amplifier so it should reject unwanted signal and those unwanted signal is image signal and noise signals right so this is how we should select RF amplifier over here so this is very key point that we need to understand and one more key point that we should know that is we should fix IF frequency over here and in super heterodyne receiver we keep that IF frequency to 455 kilohertz so as if you keep IF is equals to 455 kilohertz you will be finding performance of this receiver is way better than TRF receiver and that is why these are the components that we select as per the specification which we have discussed already regarding super heterodyne receiver now in next session I will be going to explain you why we select local oscillator frequency greater than RF signal which we receive at antenna and that is even very important point which is there with super heterodyne receiver so that gives you clear idea like see what is super heterodyne receiver and how to select local oscillator frequency i hope that you have understood this session thank you so much for watching this video please do give your valuable suggestions definitely based on your suggestions in future i'll make videos which will resolve your issues thank you so much for watching this video